Well, hi. Uh, we are going to showcase uh, the exemplary materials we used uh, for the RSI project. Uh, there are both uh, uh, typical cases. One is the photosynthesis and the other one is a catalytic converter. So we're going to showcase the first uh, marker. And as you can see, if we put the iPad in the marker or in the top of the marker and the new animation just popped pops in and uh, you can see that this is the basic uh, photosynthesis uh, uh, reaction that with, with carbon dioxide and water uh, you get sugars and oxygen and the sunlight is uh, let's say the, the energy it, it, the sunlight uh, provides the energy to the to this reaction to to become uh, uh, to become true and uh, we can click it's interactive on the on the chemical reaction and this is the molecule uh, that uh, that uh, it's the output of the chemical reaction the sugars so we are going to change to the next marker and in this marker, we can see uh, the, the cell that it's called chloroplast, and this cell uh, that it's, the, the, it's in charge of making the photosynthesis reaction. Uh, we can see that the sunlight uh, uh, permeates through the cell, and uh, uh, the cell absorbs uh, all the spectrum, but not the the green spectrum that it's reflected that's why the leaves uh, are green because uh, the chloroplast reflects the green uh, light and absorbs the other ones we are going to change to the next marker that it's an overall overview of the photosynthesis within a tree and as you can see uh, the roots uh, the, as you can see the roots uh, um, feed on water and this water is uh, uh, redistributed along the, the leaves and the, and the stem and if you uh, want to look for a, a more detailed view you just click on the look closer and then you can see a breakup of the basic uh, parts that take care in this interaction. First of all, uh, the roots absorbing the water and through capillary forces, it gets to the leaves, transported through the stem. And uh, some molecular forces that take care in the stem, that molecular force and the um, capillary forces, uh, they uh, make that the molecules and the water get to the leaves. And on the leaves, you can see in the three in the third point, you can see that the, the, the leaves are the ones in charge of the photosynthesis. So uh, the leaves produce oxygen as the output of the photosynthesis. Yeah. Okay, and this is the last the last uh, example of an exemplary material. This is a catalytic converter, and uh, the catalytic converter works works like. Uh, um, the molecules of carbon monoxide they just g get in the catalytic converter and uh, uh, the catalytic converter outputs uh, carbon dioxide the reaction is pretty simple uh, carbon monoxide uh, through uh, some kind of metal uh, uh, chemical reaction it gets converted into carbon dioxide and uh, the catalytic for this reaction to, to take uh, uh, for this reaction to take uh, to complete uh, you need uh, high temperatures in the catalytic converter so that's why the catalytic must be uh, warmed up prior uh, uh, prior working properly so we can see that if we switch off the catalytic converter in fact the the um, the, the warm of the catalytic uh, converter this chemical reaction uh, uh, 
is not complete because uh, you get uh, carbon uh, sorry you get uh, uh, carbon monoxide and you get also carbon monoxide you need high temperatures in the catalytic converter uh, to work uh, this reaction and if we change to uh, high temperatures you can see that the chemical reaction is changing and the, the output process is carbon dioxide this is uh, let's say uh, an explanation of the catalytic reaction and uh, that's it this is the last uh, example